Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 27th through to June the 2nd. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Three of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Page of Cups upright. Next, we have Major Arcana Hangman reversed. Followed then by the Three of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have the Two of Pentacles upright. So your overall energy, Three of Pentacles in the upright position. Really nice energy. This indicates that you will be working with a small group of people that are so on board with whatever is going on. Now, sometimes the Three of Pentacles can simply represent uh, maybe the whole household pitching in to get the house ready for the change of season it could be a um, group of people getting together to uh, work on a project maybe you know some renos or things like that around the house it could also represent you working in a team environment at your actual job where everybody is you know very complimentary to one another this is really really good team spirit all the way <laughs> nice Right at the beginning of the week, you have the beautiful little page of cups in the upright position. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You could be getting a lovely little message. Somebody could be having a crush on you here at the beginning of the week, and you may hear about it. Um, they may message you directly. Uh, others of you, this can represent a heartfelt apology. Sometimes it simply represents um a really really nice message that makes you feel good it could be even your own child or grandchild bringing you a bouquet of flowers when it's unexpected or something like that doing something incredibly sweet maybe they're kicking in and helping with the housework or yard work or what have you whatever the situation is you're feeling really really good about this message some of you could be getting um a really nice message concerning a work situation too something that would make you really happy it could be especially it, it has special significance if say you work in a creative field or in the spiritual realm next card up is the hangman in the reverse position indicating coming out of a period where we were suspended in time for something now hangman upright is where sometimes we put ourselves in this suspension because we're looking at something from a different perspective. We're just not ready to move just yet. But sometimes the hanged man is there in the upright because we are waiting on others. It could be, say for example, you're building a house from scratch and you need permits for this, permits for that, and you can't proceed to the next level until the permit comes in. Could be stuff like that, waiting for materials to arrive. <clears throat> waiting to hear from somebody wait it's it's just a, an energy of having to hang back and wait but when the card is reversed you don't have to wait anymore so maybe some of you were waiting for this message to come through others of you perhaps were waiting for people to jump on board and help you with a project or help you with something and they're here this is a return to action so everything is moving forward now moving on towards the weekend you have a nice celebration here three of cups three of pentacles three of cups i'm starting to see a theme here virgo could very well be you are celebrating the accomplishment of getting this you know teamwork situation accomplished so this looks like whatever this project is if it's been ongoing from before it could be coming to its conclusion this week and henceforth the celebration um, if it's just something that started this week it could be that it goes by super fast we're all ready for the celebration by the weekend. So um, it's nice. It's really nice to see this kind of energy. Also, too, if uh, take note, if any of you just started a new job or you were, you know, pushed into a new position or something like that, could be that you're getting along very, very well with the people you uh, work with, your, <clears throat> your workmates, and you are on the same page. And it's always nice to have cooperation in the workplace. So getting back to the Three of Cups, now for some of you, this could be that, that you've completed something and it's time to have a little celebration. 
with the people who helped make it happen. But for others of you, this could be something completely separate. This could represent getting together with um, a small group of people. It could be for an event, a reason. Sometimes this is like a small little engagement party. It could be a, a bridal shower, a baby shower, or something like that, or even somebody's birthday. Maybe you're just having a small gathering to celebrate someone's birthday. But it will go well. This is where the party goes well. In the reverse, party doesn't go so well, but in the upright, party goes well. And uh, we're celebrating something. It could be celebrating a promotion. It could be celebrating a... <clears throat> It'd be a bon voyage party. <laughs> Last card you have is the Two of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are moving. Two of Pentacles is really nice energy for moving. If you are moving on the weekend, it looks like this is a smooth transition from one place to the next. It's very balanced. It's a two. It can come up sometimes when we're, say, taking on a secondary job and we're, you know, doing a side hustle or something like that. This is everything is moving so easily it's very you're very much um capable able and can easily handle it it's that kind of thing others of you could be balancing your finances on the weekend again it's a balancing act but it looks like it turns out really good because it is um it is a balanced number at two it could be if you are transitioning from one job to the next uh, one uh, office maybe some of you are moving offices or something like that either way I mean look at the team you have behind you I'm sure you can pull this off so easily it looks like an easy breezy nice little week that's what it looks like to me right let me know in the comment section below if you agree it looks like an easy peasy really good week where you have great cooperation and um Whew, you have great cooperation and things are just moving along swimmingly. That's what it looks like. So let me know in the comment section below if this is the kind of week you expect to have or is this the kind of week you come back and watch it after the week and let me know if that's how it turned out. So in closing, I will be pulling a Wisdom Oracle card here for you, Virgo. And let's see what your card of the week is from the Oracle deck. So what's for Virgo? We have... Go the distance, number 47. Go the distance. Looks like you will be going the distance this week. Virgo always goes the distance. Always puts in the time and the energy needed to accomplish goals. And good for you guys. Looks like this week will be an easy one for you. So thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you have a fantastic, fantastic, easy breezy kind of week. And... Um, I want, to, uh, I want to say I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.